came to the pyramids on a tour bus. It was a lot of fun. So the kings, they built pyramids, while the people who worked with the king, they built mastabas. They were not killed at the time that the king was buried, no. They built those mastabas, so when they die, they will be with the king for whom they worked. We went inside one of the tombs. The tombs are cool, they actually have hieroglyphics. Oh. We can look at it. It's unreal. It doesn't seem like the hieroglyphics are that old. And it was filled with uh, colored paste. It didn't look like that. It was all filled with colored paste. It reminded me kind of of Indiana Jones at Disneyland. It's in front of the big pyramid. This one's actually the second biggest pyramid. As you can see down there, that's the entrance that we use today to go inside the pyramid. The actual entrance that they used back in the ancient times was different. I think this one was probably drilled in there. Uh, not for tourists. It was probably drilled in there. Someone was looking for gold at one point. But we have that entrance now and that leads us to the burial chamber. <laughs> chamber is kind of empty. Not much in there. But hey, it's worth going at least once. That's what I say. Good news, everybody. I managed to get a head wrap. I'm very happy. You know, sitting in front of the pyramids, wearing the head wrap, looking like a tourist. Life is good. I did more touristy stuff. I rode a camel. The camel's fun. I love the camel that I met. His name's Charlie Brown. He's the greatest camel ever. Such a lovely sound. <laughs> they taught me the names of the three great pyramids in Giza. Ah, the Gavrin, Cheops, and Mikarinos. Mikorinos. By Arabic? Yeah. Khofu. Khofu. Khafra. Khafra. Mankaura. Mankaura. I'm scrubbing them for you. I'm riding a camel. Yes. Yep. Yep, Nims. Eat the food. Look at I'm wearing a headdress. I'm wearing a headdress. Eat the food. Eat the food, eat the food, eat the food. Oh, Charlie Brown, you, you, oh, he didn't, he didn't eat the food. Come on, camel. You love it. It's delicious. I'll eat it. Hold on. And what they tell me is that there's no hieroglyphics anywhere on the pyramids. Well, that's not exactly true. They found some hieroglyphics somewhere in this hidden room, and it says, here lies the king. Um, and that's why they think that the tombs are tombs in the pyramids. But other than that, there's no hieroglyphics, no writing anywhere in the pyramids. The Sphinx was fun. The Sphinx that you see belongs to the second pyramid around 2650 BC. It was carved out of the quarries. It was one piece. Well, the quarries covered all of this area. The smaller pieces of stone that you see is restoration work. It is 20 meters high and over 70 meters long. And you're going to see that the face has lost its nose, has lost its beard, and nobly the cobra that uh, protects the forehead. This was a dynasty known as the Mamluks of the 15th century AD. They used the face of the Sphinx as a target to shoot at. It's a Sphinx, and what's he looking at today? That's his view. It's pretty out there. One relatively recent addition to the site at Giza is the Boat Museum. The king wanted to be unified with the sun god and have a sunrise and a sunset journey. So this is why we have at least two boats with each pyramid. So let's see the one that has been restored. The ancient Egyptians disassembled boats and buried them next to the pyramids. Someone thought it would be a great idea to dig up the boat and put it back together again. For the end of this video, I've thrown together a montage of pictures so you can grasp the majesty and largeness of the pyramids. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time.